mRNA vaccines have been developed for the past 10 years, but they face challenges in order to get this technology to the public. Now, the mRNA vaccine for SARS-CoV-2 has been able to overcome these challenges. And the main challenge lies in the timing of the mRNA to being degraded. Now, within our bodies, physicians and researchers have found that this mRNA lasts about seven days. So within a week, most of that vaccine has already been metabolized. And the only thing you have left is that memory in your immune system to fight off the virus in the future. Now, the reason for this high susceptibility to degradation is due to the fact that mRNA can be attacked by enzymes. This can occur both outside and inside our bodies. And if attacked and destroyed, this mRNA is no longer functional. So to prevent this from happening, we need to keep the temperatures low. This allows for these enzymes to be inactive and the protection of our mRNA. But if the temperatures increase, these enzymes can become more active, thus having more susceptibility that they could begin degrading this mRNA, not giving us an efficient vaccine. Now, just like other vaccines in the past, multiple doses are needed for the best efficiency. Now, the mRNA vaccine for SARS-CoV-2 has two doses that both contain the same mRNA that encodes for the same spike protein. Now, just like if you were to take a test, the day of, you would remember the most amount of information. You can think of that like dose one. Now, a month later, you're asked to take the exact same test, but with no preparation. You might only have around a 50% efficiency on that test. But if you're given a refresher, such as dose two, you can increase that efficiency much better. That's exactly how this works in our immune system, as dose two provides an extra memory and extra antibodies to fight the virus in the future and keep us healthy.